Shale development may be the key to the U.S. remaining the sole superpower for the next two generations. Energy is one of the keys to global political power. The U.S. is in a great position with regard to energy. We have shale, we have gas, we have oil, and more importantly, we have competitive markets. Anyone can develop them. Around the world, our rivals are in much worse position. Everybody knows about Russia's problems, Venezuela's problems, but even China, thought to be an economic powerhouse, is far behind the United States. The U.S. is the number one producer of energy in the world, and China is now the number one importer. The reason for that is China doesn't allow competition. It doesn't allow private property rights. As a result, production of coal and crude oil are down, requiring more imports even if economic growth slows. So while U.S. gas production is soaring, Chinese gas imports are soaring. In 2008, at the height of the financial crisis, it seemed as if U.S. global power was fading away. Now we're much sought after as an ally, cooperation in energy, trade, U.S. energy production being shipped overseas. While the U.S. will remain committed to the Middle East, we don't need to be dependent anymore on Middle Eastern energy producers like Saudi Arabia and Iran. In contrast, China is now the largest importer for the Middle East, and it could become enmeshed in the same kind of problems in the Middle East that have plagued the United States for the last 40 years. There are plenty of risks to this. Here in the United States, we could just decide not to produce as much energy as we have been. We could do that for environmental reasons or just for political reasons. In China, they could return to a path of market reform, making the Chinese economy and energy sector much stronger. Even if everything works out the way we expect in the U.S. and China, other developments could occur, such as China moving closer to Russia, threatened by the revitalization of American power. Seven years ago, Goldman Sachs predicted $200 a barrel oil. That turned out to be completely wrong. What has also turned out to be completely wrong is the inevitable decline of America and rise of China. In fact, the exact opposite is occurring. The U.S. is rising and China is stagnating. 